Hello and welcome to the 2021 Skimia Day of Horn. I'm Adam Wilbur and I'm here to take you through the Mass Ensemble Horn 1 music for the Pink Panther meets James Bond and Auld Lang Syne. Thank you so much for being here. I do want to suggest that in order to make Horn Day the best it can possibly be, um, if some of you would like to take this opportunity to play Horn 4 and play some low notes to help support our group and get every part covered, I really do encourage that. My feelings will not be hurt if you leave my video right now. But I do want to say that as a private teacher that teaches high school students, most of them can all play their high notes, but a lot of students go off to college unprepared on playing those super low notes. As a horn player, we are responsible for the full range of the horn. In the staff, above the staff, and below the staff, even as far as bass clef. So Skimia Day of Horn is a great opportunity to play those super low notes without any consequences, you know, and it's a great safe environment to get more comfortable playing those super low bass clef notes. However, if you're still here, I'm happy to work with you. We're going to start with the Pink Panther meets James Bond. There are some quarter notes with X's on top. Don't worry if you haven't seen those notes before. Those are going to be treated as finger snaps on beats two and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Just make sure when you're doing those, you count carefully and you know when to end them. We have six, seven measures of finger snaps and be ready to play for that pickup into rehearsal letter A. Sixteenth note pickups are everywhere inside this little melody. And I always tell my students to treat sixth note pickups like sneezing. a chew. Achoo, 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 achoo. This way you can really get that rhythm right. We're going to acknowledge the key signature, play F sharps, and the B's in this song are natural. And looking ahead, we should be able to get from rehearsal letter A to rehearsal letter E. Here is the melody to the Pink Panther. Pick up to A. One, two, oh, one, two, three. <laughs> takes us to rehearsal letter E. Couple words of advice. Um, don't rush eighth note triplets. Make sure you try to stretch them out. D da 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 da. And have fun with this. Kind of a jazzy, mysterious uh, melody. So enjoy playing that. Now we get to the James Bond portion of our song at rehearsal letter F. Nice crisp rhythms. One and a two and and four and one and a two and and four and one and a two and and four and one and a two and and four and. Here's letter F, and we're gonna stop at letter G. One, two, three. <laughs> to rehearsal letter G, our introduction of the James Bond theme inside the horn one part. Nice syncopated rhythm, one and and three, one, two. Be careful in the measure after G that we really tattoo that high G. It's in that open notes on the horn. Remember, F and G are both open and they're stepwise apart. We want to have that note in our ear, in our lip, and play it nice and clean. Here's the four measures of G. One, two, three. Hear that top note? Be careful playing that. One more time for practice. Here's the four measures of G. One, two, three. How 
you doing so far? We've made it all the way to page two. And page two is where it gets fun at H. They take both melodies we played so far and they kind of combine them together. So letter H is two measures of the James Bond melody followed by two measures of the Pink Panther melody. Here's letter H to letter I. See if you can spot both melodies. <laughs> That's fun. Nice combination, the way those two fit together. Works nicely. Good job. Getting to letter I. C sharp, thumb two, three. One and, four and, three, a four and. Letter I. One, two, three. One more time, nice and clean. One and, four and, three, a four and. Two, three. Cool. Now at rehearsal letter J. Looks familiar. I like when melodies repeat themselves. Less work, less to learn. Letter A looks pretty much identical to what letter? Study your music. Do you see it? Letter A is the exact same four measures. Then we get to letter K. We've played that before as well. Here's the four measures of letter J. Looks like the last statement of the Pink Panther melody. So let's make it the best one. Pick up to J. Achoo. One, two, three. And then at K, we change personalities really quickly and we get back to that James Bond melody. Letter K. One, two, three. Which brings us to rehearsal letter L. L. I've spoken to the other horn players teaching their video lessons, and we all agree we're going to swing the eighth notes at letter L. One and a three, a four, one and and three, a four. So hopefully, you watch this video, we'll be able to tell on the Mass Ensemble video who did their homework, who prepared, by who's swinging these eighth notes, and who didn't watch the video, who's playing them straight. Which one are you? Um, letter L, please. One, two, Swing the eighths, ready. One more time, because it's fun. One, two, three. And M to the end. The coda of the song, the ending. Same as letter I. One and, four and, three, a four and. Letter M. One, two, three. Two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Make sure you play the last note of the song, F sharp. You don't want to play this beautiful song and all that hard work and end on the wrong note. If you have to write a sharp sign in to be certain of it, please do so. I had a teacher that once told me that professionals write things down and amateurs remember them. You might think it's the other way around, but it's true. Professionals are the ones that write things down. Amateurs say, oh, I'll get it next time, and they're probably going to forget about it. So something to think about. Thank you so much for your efforts so far. We're going to go over to Auld Lang Syne. And I know what you're thinking over there. I'm a horn one. Why do I need a lesson on how to play Auld Lang Syne? Looks kind of simple, doesn't it? Yeah, I agree with that. But don't ever get up the opportunity to play musically. If the notes and rhythms look simple, well, you can change your goals a little bit. Your new goals can be trying to get a beautiful tone on every note, trying to do 
four measure phrasings and trying to get through an entire song without cracking a note. Even an easy song on the French horn can be difficult to do that. So as you're playing this, really think about breath support and that beautiful tone you can get on your instrument, which is why we play the horn in the first place. So although the rhythms seem kind of easy and the notes are in the sweet spot of the horn, try to make it your goal to play it all the way through with no cracks, four measure phrasing, and a beautiful tone. Hope I don't crack any notes now. One, two, three. How'd you do? Did you make it pretty? Did you make those four measure phrases? I hope you did. Thank you so much for watching my video, and I think you're now ready to perform with the 2021 Scamilla Day of Horn Mass Ensemble. Have a great time, and thank you so much for participating. Bye bye.